Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. A classic. It's a classic! It's a star. Ah, shoot. Oh! Yeah, you got me. You got me, Chain Chomp. You got me. Oh my god, he goes a lot faster in this game. I am getting a coin before I do any more of this. Got him. I always love how he just jumps over the mountain right there. Good old Chain Chomp. Okay, well the first two courses are completely uh, done now, so we can actually move on to some new courses now. Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think of how many stars I can do in each of the two new courses. I think I can do them all in course four. I know I can't do them all in course three, though. I think there's just uh, something that gets in the way of that happening, so you're unable to do it. I'll do what I can, though. I'll do what I can. Oh! Grab it! Got him! Wow, I actually planned that very well. So there we go, get another key. So yeah, you literally have to check every single room with every single character, because you don't know which room's going to have a rabbit or not. Okay, I think we got, yep, we got him. Now, this is not the aquarium. This is the aquarium. I think they call this place the aquarium. They call it something, anyway. They call it something. This just kind of reminds me of, uh... Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition when I was streaming that game a little while ago on my stream channel. Frickin' Mario just randomly turns into a sign every now and then. Music gets incredibly weird. Then you have the tornado where everything just, like, magnetizes to Mario and just, like, everything goes up in the air. It's a funny hack. You should check it out if you ever get the time. Don't expect a playthrough on my channel, though, because just don't. Don't expect it. <laughs> just don't expect it. Okay. Let's grab this. Just have one more coin to go, and then we're good. We can actually start the next level. But yeah, this is like one of the few levels that I feel like doesn't really change, like, at all. In terms of, uh, changes they made from the original version to this version. I mean, I guess you could say the same about, uh, you could say the same about this Princess Secret Slide, too, but... That's a classic. Is this another guy, or is this just the same one? Okay, yeah. That's another thing you have to look out for. You can catch the same rabbit again twice, so... Just make sure you've got all the rabbits that you need. Okay, plunder in the sunken ship. Here we are, guys, in Jolly Roger Bay. Okay, this is how you swim, okay. So, we're going to be dealing with our good friend from the original game. You know him, guys. The bane of everybody's water level existence. Mr. Unagi the Eel. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. He's actually a lot shorter in this game, I feel like. 
He was way, way longer in the original game. Also, wow, I'm about to die. I just not realized. Let me grab some coins. So, in this game, there is no chest puzzle. You just have to open one chest. I guess they thought the time limit was pretty extreme. So they got rid of it. Which is understandable, but I could have done it. And there we go, first star. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> I know what star's next. You guys should know what star's next, too. Ahem. <clears throat> Can the eel come out to play? Please don't. <laughs> Please don't come out to play. Oh, eel. The frickin' eel. Uh, just memories of being scared of the star as a kid. All these memories coming back. How I can do this star with no problem these days, but back then, my god, this could, this was just so, uh. See, younger Slim Kirby, it's that easy. Not even hard at all. I feel like such a wimp for ever thinking that was hard. Well, a lot of people felt that way, so I shouldn't feel too bad. Okay, let's jump in again. Next we have Treasure in the Ocean Cave. Let's jump in the water and take a trip to the bottom of the ocean. It's the bottom of the ocean. There's an eel swimming around. Look at all the bubbles floating in the deep underground. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. I just felt my younger self just like shiver at the look of those eel's teeth. Oh my god. We, we. Oh God! Ouch! <laughs> well, now we have to do this again. Uh, nope. I always forget this puzzle and its solution. Is it? Nope. Yay! I'll jump right into this star. Thank you. Okay, do we have the red coins next? I think we either have the red coins or we have the, uh... Shoot to the pillar or something. It's one of those two. Blast with a stone pillar. Okay, that's what we got to do. So before we can blast to said stone pillar, we need to find the bob -omb, which is over here. Damn it. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario, jump! Anyone remember that commercial? <laughs> Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Yes, you will. Because you have nothing better to do than just stand there being a bomb on. Let's see how far we can jump. Oh, well, I jumped right into the pole. That's not going to help. Yeah, I made it kind of close from the top of the pole, though. Okay, this pole, or this uh, cannon shot always gives me issues. Every time I play this game. I want to say this is good enough. 
Whoa! Imagine this game had, like, uh, realistic physics, and then, like, I shot through that window. Ugh, poor Mario. It'd be, like, his body would be filled with, like, broken glass. Ugh. That'd be terrible. Poor Mario. All the pain he has to endure because of my gaming skills. Not just in this playthrough or this game, but just in general from all the video games ever made. Oh, and that was too low. I was so worried about hitting too high, though. I didn't want to hit too high. That is the right pillar, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's try again. That should do it. Thank you, game. I hate blind jumps! Okay, there. Now I think we have the red coins, which means 100 coin star. Yep, red coins on the ships afloat. And we actually have a... I don't think the blue coin switch was here in the original game. Oh, shoot. Okay, I messed this up. Hold on. So you want to know how hardcore this game is? Well, first, before I do that, let me go ahead and hit these Goombas. Grab their coins. And I'll need to punch this as well. You have to not only pound this switch, you have to punch this, grab the shell, and surf for the coins. I'm not sure if that actually makes this easier than the uh, original mission, because this is another one of the kind of hard 100 coin missions of the original game, just because they don't really give you a lot of coins to work with. You just have to get all the red coins, every single yellow coin, and then find the other blue coin switch and just hope you get lucky enough to grab them all. Okay, there's another red coin. Another red coin up here. Whee! Jump, Mario, jump! Swim, Mario, swim! You can also use the shell to swim and surf at the same time, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about that too much. We're already at 72 coins though, which is nice. I think there's three coins on the ship, so now we're gonna swim to the deep. Dodge Mr. Eelman. Grab these coins. Yeah, there's actually coins at the bottom here, too. I feel like they do actually try to make the 100 coin missions a little easier. The hardest 100 coin mission in the game is uh, Rainbow Ride and probably also Shifting Sandland as well. But, uh... Yeah, basically the only levels that are really hard, hard to get 100 coins on are the platforming levels because... You really have to have your DS controls down pat so you don't accidentally die when making platforming jumps. I should be okay though with Mario here. Oh yeah, I should have plenty of coins because I have to get... Oh yeah, I just need to get one more yellow coin and I can just grab the rest of the red coins and be fine. But let me see what other uh, coins they have to work with here. So I don't think I think they do make the red switch disappear, which yeah, that looks to be the case. Oh, look, we have a switch. 
So this is where the uh, Switch Star comes into play. Oh, but they give you plenty of coins, though. So even if you miss one of the, uh, or maybe even two or three of the blue coins, you still should be okay. But yeah, notice, this is where the switch, uh, the switch star is gonna be, so I think we're gonna need, uh, to unlock some more characters before we can even do this. But that's fine, that's fine. Let's go back and get the last red coins now. We'll say hi to our good friend Unagi again before we, uh, do that. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna swim right by you. Ugh. God, younger self. Seriously, probably wetting his pants right about now. <laughs> and I wasn't really even that young, either. I was only, like... Like, eight, nine years old when this game came out. I was born in 98. Or, 89. 88! 88, that's fine. I can't even remember my birth year, guys. No, I was born in 88. The, t the tail end of 88, because my birthday is December 26th. Okay. Oh, wow, there's more coins here, too, so... Yeah, you're spoiled for coins in this one. So even if you grab, like, only, like, two or three of the uh, blue coins, you should still be fine. And there we go. Oh, shoot! Ah, uh, momentum, please! Please, please, please. Okay, here we go. Let's grab this and finish the level proper. Now, we still have two more stars left to get here, but I think we need the other two characters before we can even get them, so... As far as I'm concerned, we're done with Jolly Roger Bay for right now. But we'll come back much later in the project and finish this off. For now, ignore the rabbit. We're going to move on to World 4. I'm basically going to go until I finish this entire first area for this recording session. So I'll do this world, then I'll do the Bowser world, and then we'll be done. We have a lot of stars, though. We have, like... We, we almost have enough stars to even do the second part of this game already and finish it up. But no, we'll do a lot of the worlds in the second part before we do anything else. So here we are in Cool Cool Mountain. And we need to go down a slippery slope. Snow Mountain Summit. Watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. So we're going to use our Santa Claus capabilities here. And we're going to go down the ice slide, which hasn't really changed. It's pretty much the same same thing as before. Not much to really say about it. And we'll even take the shortcut, too. But remember, we cannot use this shortcut later. Because we're coming back to this slide. So we can get a nice little one-up here, too. I don't remember this one-up was here in the original game. I think there was a one-up, but I don't think it was gotten in that fashion. And there we go. First star collected. So we are going to jump back in to the painting yet again. Actually, before we do... Okay, nope, no rabbits. Gotta look in every room for those frickin' rabbits. Little Penguin lost. The little penguin has lost its way. So let's try to guide this little guy back to his mom. If you'll come here, thank you. Also, notice how we have a red coin in this block of ice. That will be important later. For now, though, let's go ahead and make our way down the mountain. A lot of, 
campfires too. Not really sure how those campfires are staying lit, but... Well, I think we can just chalk that up to video game logic. VIDEO GAME LOGIC! Okay, there's the penguin. Okay, Mario, can you get up, please? Thank you. Here, go to your mama. You found my precious, precious baby! Where have you been? How can I ever thank you? Oh, I do have this star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. Well, thank you. I love to have a good star. Also, notice how there is stuff under this pool. It's one of those crystal star things. I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. Game over, yeah! Oh, that baby penguin. It's fun to do that. It's a terrible thing to do, but... Come on, you, you can't have a playthrough where you don't do that. It's only natural. Kind of. Maybe. Shouldn't be, but it is. Okay, big penguin race. So now we have to race a penguin again. Or not again, but go down the slide again. I am the world champion Slutter. I may be bulky, but I'm very fast. How about a race? Let's do this, guys. So I have a feeling I'll probably die here. I don't know why. Just I always seem to die whenever I do the big penguin race. There's just something about this turn coming up that I'm never good at. I say as I do it perfectly the first time. <laughs> That's game playing for you. Sometimes you do it wrong, sometimes you do it right. Who knows? Okay, talk to me. You broke broke my record! Unbelievable! I heard you were the coolest, now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't give you a gold medal, but here, take the star instead. You've earned it. I feel like the star would be of more value than a gold medal, to be fair, but... Whatever. I won, I got a star, that's all that matters. 